Hi everyone, uh, this is uh, Tarkus from the NAM team here, and it looks like I finally have everything ironed out with this whole streaming thing uh, after uh, switching software programs. So, at long last, uh, after some, some technical uh, finagling, I uh, am ready to show you some uh, new stuff we got uh, coming that I have in development for uh, the NAM32 release cycle. Uh, obviously this stuff is still in development so uh, some uh, product may vary upon on release ever so slightly. So as you saw I moved over to the uh, RHW uh, flex ramp uh, button and, well, first off, you'll notice there's actually a few things that are, that are kind of hiding in here that you might not have previously seen. Previously seen. Um, there's also some pieces in here that will eventually get broken out into other rings, tab rings, and uh, some stuff that doesn't quite have accurate preview models yet, including this thing I'd, just, I'd like to show you. Uh, you might have seen me teasing about the supposed quick change uh, system in my uh, signature on the forums and uh, on Twitter and in the RHW development thread over at uh, SE4 Devotion. So quick change is kind of a, a bit of a, uh, a sacrilegious uh, new feature that's uh, going to be part of the uh, Real Highway uh, mod plugin that'll be part of NAM32. And so I'll just plop this down as you can see, the uh, uh, that uh, RHW2 uh, Type A1 ramp interface now has a uh, MIS uh, ground level one transition attached to it. And what this is actually is the uh, quick change partial diamond piece. So basically, what this thing's designed to do is it actually works with Another project that I've been working on for NAM32, which is the uh, the draggable uh, road viaduct system, so you no longer have to deal with all the uh, puzzle pieces that you've you know kind of had to play around with for years and years and years uh, when building these these road viaducts. So you can just drag that out. Uh, obviously, I haven't gotten the, uh, the uh, Type 21 exemplars on for the supports to use the, uh, the technical terminology. So uh, the, uh, for, to the uh, pylon police members who are out there, uh, don't worry just yet. <laughs> so uh, what I can actually do with this thing, um, the, the whole uh, flex uh, height transition system has been given a lot more stability so what I can actually do is I can actually drag this, even though this, this uh, flexible height transition is butted up right against this uh, road viaduct, I can drag right through and build the intersection. And uh, the, reason, the, the whole idea behind the whole quick change system is, I mean, over the years we've had a lot of users who, you know, they don't quite get the, the whole concept behind the RHW and over all these years, they've been requesting that we make prefab interchanges, kind of like what the Max Howey system has, and our response has always been, no, 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 no. <laughs> and the reason for that is because if we made strict prefabs in the style of the Max's Highway interchanges, we'd need, w between all the combinations of uh, interchange types that people would want, and all the various networks, I mean, there's like 30 nine RHW networks right now, I believe. And then you think about all the uh, surface networks that people will be wanting to intersect those with, and y you easily get into making thousands of interchanges, well, well more than the number of modular pieces you'd need to you know, construct a fairly uh, elaborate and complete uh, set of modular pieces. And so the way, what, what Quick Change does is it kind of acts as, as kind of a bridge between uh, the the modular approach and that prefab approach that people have wanted. It's actually kind of a partial prefab, but it's built entirely using flex pieces, so it's overridable and 
in effect modular uh, like any other RHW piece you'd want to use, but it just makes the whole process of building interchanges quicker. And because because it's all built off of flex pieces, we can also do a lot with very few pieces. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to show you um, because this is a flex ramp here, uh, which is something we started introducing in, in NAM 31, and this can become really kind of a centerpiece of our you know design strategy going forward because. You know, everybody's you know requesting all these ramp interfaces, and then at the same time complaining that you know the tab loop is going to be so long. I think there's probably close to 60 ramp interfaces under the the standard ramp interfaces button now. Um, so what the flex system, flex ramp system does is it adds those new options, but you only have to deal with placing one piece, and you can override it to to work with these other networks. So I'm just going to drag this through, and as you can see, you know, you no problem, you know, changing this over to work with RHW4. So I'm going to go back in. I'm actually going to complete uh, this this interchange and show you how uh, quick it is to build it. So. A little bit hard without the uh, proper preview models at this point. That'll be fixed for release definitely. I still remember when I uh, first uh, made the MIS prototype way back in 2007, um, which actually was pre-draggable at that point. It was all you know these little tiny puzzle pieces, and I didn't know how to make preview models at that point. And uh, so I actually was having to blind plop all these all these MIS pieces. I had to like memorize where they were and how they would behave in in in, in space in the game, and uh, <laughs> that was an interesting uh, experience. So uh, as you can see now, I've just uh, built an entire uh, diamond interchange uh, using these these uh, quick change pieces. I have a little bit of an instability there. Um, that's something that'll uh, get fixed. As I said earlier, these this stuff's still definitely in a developmental state at this point. So I want to show a couple other options we have on the on the quick change system that are currently uh, in place. So um, this is basically the reverse of uh, what I just showed. This is where the RHW is actually at level one, and uh, the height transition drops down so she intersects a uh, a surface network at ground level. And then the piece de resistance here, um, you might have seen me tease about this one in the, uh, uh, the main RHW development thread and also in the uh, show us your interchanges thread over at uh, Sim 4 Devotion. And uh, this is actually a Parklow inner loop quick change piece. And basically it uh, allows you to make more uh, compact partial cloverleaf or parklow uh, type interchanges. And of course the whole thing is overridable. And this whole little uh, 180 degree MIS curve that also goes up one height level, um, it's actually technically a flex piece and it'll be available uh, without this this whole attachment to the ramp interface and the quick change so you can you can use it you'll be able to use it in the same way that you would uh, you know use that you have used RHW pieces in the past so we're you know trying to you know use this as part of a larger system As you see there, I've, I've managed to hook that in. Team intersection model still needs a little bit of work, but you get the basic idea of what this what, what this will be able to do. And of course, uh, like the uh, uh, the, the uh, partial diamond piece that I showed, uh, this one also has a counterpart where the RHW is elevated and it drops down to ground level for the service network intersection. You also notice um, that there's actually like three tiles of MIS that are in between the start of the, uh, the loop ramp and the uh, ramp interface, and that's so 
Uh, you can actually stick uh, things as wide as triple tile NWM networks uh, underneath uh, and hook those in. And also on a related note, um, I talked a little bit about the expansion of the flex ramp system. So um, I flexed uh, the uh, a type D1 and, and type E1 uh, ramp interfaces. And these will be overridable just like uh, all the uh, other flex ramps that are out there. And then also, uh, this is one of the most recent things I've been developing, is uh, I've actually flexed uh, the uh, type A2 and type D2 uh, ramp interfaces. So you can have these, these uh, wider uh, ramp branches uh, this way. And these... At present, they don't have the, the, the capacity. The overrides haven't been written yet, but uh, they'll be able to be overridden to, to larger networks such that you can use, uh, you know, you can you know, f uh, substitute an RHW10S, for instance, instead of this 8S that I have here. It's the default that drags out of there. And the other nice thing, too, is that uh, these uh, flex ramps, these new flex ramps can actually be plopped over top of uh, the uh, flex ramps that are built into the... Uh, quick change uh, plops. So I can actually just plop that D1 down and instead have this, this uh, MIS uh, split here. I have this, this one lane on this RHW4 uh, branch off. And uh, the overrides for um, this are still in development, but this will kind of give you a taste of what you'll eventually be able to do. I still have to override the MIS end uh, on the main line where this works, but I can convert this over to an RHW6S, and then this will turn into an RHW4 here. And then the uh, outer lane on the 6S can, can act as a... Uh, uh, an exit only lane um, as people t tend to use uh, the 6S to kind of interface with the RHW4. So that should kind of give you a little taste of uh, where we're headed developmentally uh, with the whole uh, quick change system. Uh, I think I think you know it'll, it'll bring a new a whole new crop of users to the RHW system. And it's kind of found a way to make the whole system easier without completely compromising our, our, our vision for uh, the design of the system. So, uh, to borrow a phrase from uh, Jeremy Clarkson of Top Gear, on that bombshell, I, I suppose we'll conclude uh, this stream. I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, seeing uh, this latest stuff, and I, I look forward to... Uh, let you guys play around with it uh, once uh, NAM32 comes out. Thanks for watching.